Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. Two isolated point particles of mass 4m and 9m are separated by a distance of 1 meter. So the total distance is given 1 meter. A point particle of mass m is placed at a distance x from the particle of mass 9m. The net gravitational force on m is 0. Now this is given that the total force on mass m is equal to 0. Find the value of x. So what we want to do here is we have to find the gravitation, gravitational force like for example masses they always attract each other so this 9m is going to attract this mass and this 4m is going to attract this mass towards itself so I can just call this as F1 and this as F2 according to the question the net force on m is equal to 0 it only means that F1 is equal to F2 and so let us first of all write the expression for F1 so F1 is between 4m and m. So it will be G into 4m multiplied by m divided by. Now what is this distance? This distance will be taken as 1 minus x. Because the total distance is x and the other distance is given. Total distance is 1 and the this distance is given as x. So it will be 1 minus x square. And as per F2 is concerned, it will be x squared. So now we need to equate these two forces 1 and 2. So it will be nine into g m square divided by x square. So m square and g gets cancelled out and now we just cross multiply it There's no other option. We have to solve it. Yeah, we can. We can. There is an option. Instead of creating a quadratic equation here, one option is that you create a quadratic equation and then you solve it. You would be having two answers there, two values for x. One value will be neglected. Another value will be chosen as the correct answer. But the other method will be, if I keep it like this, and now I take the square root on both sides. So it will be x divided by 1 minus x. It will become 3 by 2. Just solve it. 2x, 3 minus 3x. So x is coming out to be 3 by 5. 3 by 5 meters. And so the answer is C. My dear students, you see here, uh, the method that I have chosen here, uh, like uh, taking square root on both sides, this is not the proper method of solving a quadratic equation in the first place, okay? Why? Because you can see with this uh, method, you are only getting one answer. But there are two different values which would be able to satisfy this equation. So now with this method, we do not have the second value with us. But I know that out of experience that if you create a quadratic equation here and you try to uh, solve it, so x will be having two values let us say x1 and x2 out of this one value will be 3 by 5 but the other value will be such that it will be neglected because of some reason like for example uh, the total distance here is given as 1 and if x2 is greater than 1 I can definitely say that x2 is a wrong value which is not correct as per my equations so this method is uh, I have opted for this method now so the answer is 3 by 5 so with this all the best this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and also share the channel with all of your friends. All the best. Bye.